Hey, look at where I slept last night. Late last night when we pulled over, I could not figure out how to put the tent together by myself. Cloud was sleeping in the car. I just put a chair up and put the cooler up and slept right there in the tent, right here. And this pound, how we don't do zip. I'm eating strong, I'm taking a trip. Popping in the mat, I'ma let it rip. Ain't no mercy for him, I'ma transform, I'ma. The last morning before the rainbow gathering. Man, we're so excited, bro. Nervous at the same time. Y'all watch yesterday's video if you haven't yet. A lot of emotions are going through us, but we feel led and destined to come here. Like we've already made it to Colorado, bro. We met this old man. Watch that video, meeting a van life legend. We meet this old man named Toad. Like if destiny and everything doesn't happen for a reason, why did Toad tell us to come here, bro? If, if it was just a bunch of chomos and people who are unwanted and, and just bad people. Why did Toad tell us to come here, bro? And why is it the 50th anniversary, the same year we find out about it? The same year we're traveling, 5-0, 50th anniversary. Don't that just sound, seem weird to y'all, bro? It's like we're meant to be there. Like we didn't even question it. Y'all seen us make our minds up in that video that we're gonna go. And here we are a month later, like, oh no, that's kind of crazy that we actually came. And it's crazy that all these signs are telling us, hey, no, 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 don't go, don't go. It might be bad. You might get killed. You might get abused. You might get drugged. Like, damn, all those things, those three things are the worst that could happen to a human. You attract the type of energy that you put out. But number one, I ain't going to be weak. You see me buffed up. This is Cloud's jacket, by the way. It's cold as shit out here, bro. Last night was so cold. I literally slept right over there. <laughs> you're working and grinding towards something. You don't even know what you're grinding towards. You just know that everything you're doing is positive. And one day you hope it'll all pay out, bro. I honestly genuinely feel like it will pay out, bro. I feel like work added on top of each other. Day after day, after month, after month, after week and year. It's <laughs> all that added together that makes a big pile of work and you've done a lot of stuff that nobody else has done or very few people have whereas if you just do a little bit here and then like damn i don't see no results i'm gonna take a couple weeks off a month off and then boom do a little bit more and do that for a couple years you're never gonna get nowhere bro you might as well just stop you might as well just do it as a hobby bro like instead of a passion if you're really passionate about something bro you'll go all in bro blindly knowing that you have faith, bro. You have faith and hope that all this work will pay off, bro, and your future will, you'll receive the blessings that you deserve, bro. Everybody, you know if, if you deserve blessings or not, bro. Like, you know if you've been doing good or not. Honestly feel like that this world was created by a creator. Don't know what or who. I just don't know about Big Bang. Cause look, everything is so fucking perfect. We're perfect. We're put on this earth. Like you think that you think whoever created this and everything else and how everything intertwines just so everything needs everything else to move on. So you're put here. So other people's lives, like your friends and your family and whoever you interact with on a daily, you enter, you, you influence their life, whether you believe it or not, bro. Like you're a part of their life. Your energy is affecting their energy when they're around you bro so i feel like and look this is where free will comes in hand bro free will is the the will to i can just jump in this water if i want to i can do whatever i want right now but we have to choose to put more positivity and good on this earth bro if you're choosing to do that if you're making everybody's life better bro why wouldn't whoever's above this like the energy what if there's no person above this it's not like a it's just an energy like really strong positive energy and but like he's the create it's the creator it's not even a he or she it's just the the creator of all energies because how was the first whatever energy and thing was on here first bro whether it just be a plant bro like who made the plant bro it just made itself bro like the big bang happened they're like oh I can't wrap my head around something logical other than this was created like by, by an energy like boom. But here's what's the little twist about everything. We 
are controlling the destiny of this earth. That's what the creator made this earth for. He gave us the will to do bad or good. Like we can destroy this whole earth and everybody just probably die and the world not go on anymore. Or we can figure out and create iPhones, create social media, create technology, uh, electricity, um, Teslas, bro, and going to the moon and doing all this stuff that we're doing. That was the purpose of this earth, bro. Like the creator made humans so woke, so like, look how we look, bro. We don't look like any other animal, bro. Like we look like a something else, like an alien, bro, compared to all these normal animals that just live their daily life. We're not thinking about with animals. They just are everything they know is how to live and they don't even think probably bro they're just in the moment all the time bro enjoying it to the max bro literally thinking about the exact moment and they probably don't even have thoughts they just react off instinct whereas humans we might go to bed thinking about what we're going to do tomorrow or wake up thinking about it or next week something we do next month a year from now bro we literally sit and create thoughts and we manifest energy into this world we might even say it to ourselves or to a friend so not only didn't you just thought, think some new thoughts into this universe that your thoughts wasn't there before until you just got creative and used your imagination and made this real. Now you're speaking it into existence. You're telling friends, bro. How do you think the first planes and the first like refrigerator, bro? Like, and TV, let's just go with TV, bro. The very first person who thought of the TV was like, Man, I want a picture. I want to record this right here. I want to be able to. This is. Uh, I want. I want somebody. I want my grandma back home who can't leave the house to see this view right here. Just whatever, bro. And then they got to thinking, and they somehow it just blows my mind how you can literally record something in the past, something that's going on right now in the middle of the woods in Colorado. And then I can, it can stay on my phone, everything be exactly how it was, nothing different, bro. And then I can upload it to this thing in the sky that so everybody in the world can watch me, bro. All super weird, but so weird that it all makes sense with this, but now with this new knowledge of, okay, this universe is not what I thought it was. This thing is crazy and wicked and anybody can create some, a new positive idea or a negative idea into it by literally thinking and speaking that's what manifesting is use this to your advantage bro start thinking about what you want and not what you don't want start saying over to yourself like i want to do this i am this i am this i'm gonna do this i am gonna do this i am this like i'm gonna be the biggest youtube ever i'm confident i'm strong i'm positive i'm happy i'm a helpful i'm giving i'm gonna change this world in a ways that un unimaginable to anybody else before boom now it's into the universe bro something you thought of today it might hit you like two years later bro you might just be sitting back having a badass day bro having a good day though just chilling though just like in a slump though or like maybe you're just having the best day ever though and you're not you're like in the opposite of a slump like you're just really thinking of all these new good ideas or and then boom something that you thought of two three ten years ago bruh wow bro i need to do this right now i have the knowledge now to make this possible whereas when i was a kid just wishing for this to happen it couldn't have happened because i didn't know how to do it now i can make it happen i don't know bruh less thinking and more doing you should think though obviously because thinking is really good but if you're thinking about bad stuff and you're like nervous and anxious and all the negativity bro then you're damn near manifesting that into your energy realm and so other like so that stuff can really affect you and attack you so because when that energy is over there and it sees me a positive good happy energy source it's gonna know to stay the f away from me bro where it's not gonna end good bro like just because i'm positive and happy and shit don't mean that i'm still an animal bro like i'm gonna protect what's mine i'm still gonna be a dog when it, when i need to bro you're not gonna take nothing from me like physically like you're not gonna abuse me none of that bro which it literally sucks to the people who physically can't really guard themselves like i don't like i don't know why 
some humans are way stronger than other humans and they give that gives them the advantage to do stuff that oh y'all know what i'm talking about bro i don't know the answer to that i honestly think that you go through what you go through to make you stronger and smarter and to relate to other people like be a role model maybe to other people who have felt victim to that I just think everything that's easy and that comes fast isn't worth it and it's like you're not gonna cherish it and be grateful for it all this hard work and all the energy and effort that you spent putting positivity into your body into this world into just anything bro like picking up trash when you're going to on a wall like say you want to go on a hike down something beautiful like this trail right here and there's some trash on it bro pick it up bro don't just see trash and like oh it's okay to throw trash down then boom if everybody has that mindset that's just all negativity and just bad trash and just nothing positive out of that bro. nothing good nothing that's beneficial like try to make everything you do seem beneficial to something or somebody like i've been through a lot of bs i've been through the worst emotions ever bro like i've hated my life i've hated the world i've hated random people for like just hated everything type shit like not couldn't find happiness or anything great about anything and that was all up here until i changed my perspective and really understood how blessed and i am to have the opportunity to change the world bruh like y'all are gonna actually listen to me because i am who i am i don't know why i am this person bro i'm only 21 bro like it seems like I'm old as shit though, and it, I don't know, I have just an old soul. Been to rehab twice, bro, when I really didn't, I wasn't even on drugs, bro. I just went for like, to learn shit, bro, basically, like just to go through some BS that I didn't want to go through. I've been abandoned and betrayed, it felt like, bro, and had nobody to talk to and just, cried for weeks bro like i've been there bro i've been there like on everything bro i wanted to take my life i tried taking my life bro like i've been there bro and then i realized man maybe if i just start doing the opposite of everything i'm doing right now it'll all be the opposite it'll i'll feel the opposite emotions i'll be happy and everything will be different and then i took those steps and started breathing more bro sitting back and taking your mind off everything that's going on and just slow things down bro shift your perspective bro maybe you're only seeing things out of you the the one perspective that we think is ours that's mine this is how I see things. This is the only way to see. If you don't see things how I see them, based on everything I've been through, this is why I see this, then you're wrong. You're wrong, I'm right. Because this is how I see things. That's your ego talking. That is literally the ego, the my, this is mine. This is how I feel. This is I am me, I am me. It's the ego, bro. Like, let that shit go, bro. See things from if you were that, I always look at people all the time, and bro, no offense, bro, but some people are ugly as shit, bro. Like, no offense, bro. Like, if you're that, if you're if you're ugly, bro, then you're ugly. And God made you ugly. Like, embrace that shit, bro. You better be funny. You better be strong. Like, I don't know what you gotta be, bro. Cause I don't get no girls either, bro. Girls are interested in me, but I don't like. I don't have nothing that I really want in my life right now, woman-wise. I have everything else. Everything. I have everything except a woman. I always imagine myself, bro, and a lot of y'all are probably pretty people, bro. I'm talking to, like, ugly is no matter how hard you work, you can have the best body ever, like, something just, like, you're just not attractive, bro. Like, got, everybody has eyes, and maybe they're attractive to just a certain amount of people. I would still be living on the same earth, doing, like, I have the ability to do the same activities, but I'm in their body now. I can't be a YouTuber. I can't be who I, who, who I am right now which I could obviously, but I couldn't be myself. I couldn't be Gib because I'm them. I have to take care of their kids. I have to live their life. I have to go to work. I have to go to their job, pay their bills, put food on their table. I have to do those responsibilities now because that's what is them. Even if they're by themselves and lonely, bro, they still have to 
unless they're living like this out in the tent. But I might be wrong for this, and this is the last thing I'm gonna say in this video, bro. Just to end on a note about that ugly thing, bro, because I really like don't say that as in a, a bad way. I say it as in a real way. But I believe, say you are ugly right now, which a lot of y'all are young as shit watching this, bro. And you feel like you're ugly though, bro. Or like you honestly are ugly. Start putting self care. Start letting the sun soak into your skin. Start drinking a lot of water. Start working out. Start eating fruits and vegetables and swimming and doing activities that don't require you looking at a screen which i'm the biggest uh, i'm the biggest cat bro because i am addicted to my screen too bro like it's hard it was hard for me to even say that right there but it's just the reality of it that these are like drugs that they've given us and now that our brains our brains are literally getting addicted to these screens like it's drugs bro and it's just crazy i always catch myself like i would rather be playing sports rather be throwing the football doing anything else but i'm just pointlessly scrolling because that's what i'm addicted to like that probably makes you way uglier bro like go out and do something and treat your body and soul and mind better and the world might just bless you and you might start looking better bro like i think everything is a perspective like i've been saying right so that means attractiveness is a perspective bro like you're only ugly because you view yourself as ugly and probably because you've been doing a bunch of ugly things, bro. Like, I do the same to myself, bro. When I'm not living right, I'll look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like, who am I, bro? Like, I'm a pathetic loser. Like, all this negativity, bro. Like, I'm never going to be nothing. I'm so ugly, bro. Like, look at me, bro. Like, how am I ever going to get a girlfriend? Like, I, I swear to God, I'm not, I'm not capped to y'all, bro. Now I'm a little older and, and like, smarter. Obviously, I'm going to try, I, I would try to stop this, but this is what is really what i be doing today i feel beautiful as ever though i feel full of life i feel stronger than ever i feel in shape and i don't know i got a long journey it feels like i'm just starting a long happy plentiful productive journey bro like i feel like i'm doing all this shit that nobody else wants to do bro obviously y'all everybody wants to do this but i'm saying these videos bro i would rather just delete all my social media and just live off the face of the earth and just figured out that life bro i'm smart enough i could do that but no i'm so persistent i beat myself over it up over it sometimes i want to blow up simply to wake people up bro and to ch see if i can have the biggest impact on this world before the illuminati comes and just says hey it, it's over with bro you you're yeah, they probably wouldn't even do much talking but I don't even if, know if the Illuminati's real or not, though. I feel like that's just the name that we put on a bunch of bad people that might or might not be real, but the motherfuckers might be real. But hey, this one stoner to another. I'm living this journey of life just like you are, trying to learn the most of it I can every single day and take what I learned today, add it on from what I've learned from all these other years, plus add it on from what these random people that I meet tell me all that knowledge and experience added on to what i'm gonna do tomorrow now i can do what i'm gonna do tomorrow or today like later on today way better than i could have done it yesterday because i'm smarter today it's all perspective bro it's all perspective friend calls another friend and it's, and that that friend picks up like bro my phone's about to die. I'm already late for my job. My car's broke down. My baby won't stop crying. Like, what the hell do you want? Man said, man, I'm about to cheat. Like, you got me messed up, bro. I'm about to change your perspective. And you're blessed enough to have a phone that picks up, bro. Cause you could not have what? Your baby, if your baby wasn't crying, that probably mean it's dead, bro. So like, be blessed that your baby's crying. That's what they do. You should like love to hear your baby cry. That means it's full of happiness and Latin. In a, in in a live that's that's real that's it's not a tv screen that's not coco melon it's your baby crying it's only gonna cry for a couple years yes it gets annoying yes we're all human and we hate little shit but man just i don't know be happy that it's crying be happy your car's broke down because you have a car that can break down and you have the money to be able to fix it when it's broke down you might not have the time right now because you're late for a job interview. But be blessed that you have the ability to get a job interview and to make more money. Then that dude was like, all right, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs>
dust. This is what somebody told me in rehab, bro, and it stuck with me, bro, and I hope it sticks with y'all, bro. Perspective is everything. Once you change that, once you, man, what what Kodak say? I had to keep, I had to open up my mind, and I opened up his. I had to open up my eyes, and I opened up his. That's fucking tough, bro. I had to open my mind, then I opened up his. Like you gotta sell your soul for you on the pay attention. I'm about to go call these spirits in this fucking mountain with the rest of this.